<clears throat> okay, Akumaldo Crypto here, guys. <laughs> so, finally, a Bitcoin update. Yeah, but <laughs> what we what can we say about Bitcoin, huh? We are in this nasty sideways movement for like what? Oh my goodness, almost 14 days or whatever, right? Let me see here. How long have we been in this correction? Huh? This is now the 26th. Yeah. 314 days. Yes. And it's not enough. In my opinion, we are going to be in this bearish market for a lot longer, guys. And I'm going to explain why. And, uh, okay, so this sideways movement here, uh, it's difficult to make sense of this. Uh, what we are trying to do is trying to figure out what's happening. And honestly, TA is almost useless now because, uh, not useless, uh, pardon me. It's, uh, we are trying to make sense of what's happening, but what is doing, what, what's happening indeed is that it's getting tighter and tighter, the BB again, the bullish band. This is daily and it's um, bit stamp and we don't see movement. Uh, however, however uh, weak you point, however movement that you see going up or down, okay? It's not a, a significant movement, it's just going sideways. Remember, the daily chart is, the daily charts and the uh, and higher time frames are quite important to tell us what's really happening and nothing is really nothing significant is happening okay what is what we see indeed is that the the upper bullish band is here under 50 percent where we have the strong resistance and the bottom line here of the bullish band is here where we have this yellow trend line so we kind of broke this uh blue bluish trend line here we are above it but that's not a problem at all it's not because we broke it that it's uh, something must happen we would be like in the wave a b we would be inside of this wave b here doing a sideways correction to then go to this c if we are doing this e wave here and we are finishing this b wave here to go up to do this kind of a lot of people is gonna say oh this is the end of the correction and I'm making the hypothesis that I am I am proposing that even if we go this far here 10k okay it won't be the end of the correction only if we go below uh, above beyond this this level here this 50 percent and we establish a, a higher like a higher highs like 11k or 1200 here that's gonna sign on me that's gonna be a really bullish sign going beyond this level of the x here this x here okay so the overall picture the overall picture hasn't changed of course and what happened is more of the sideways correction that we haven't that we haven't seen so far in Bitcoin, we, we haven't seen such a movement like this. Look, it's, it's almost a it's like a straight line. If we look at if we look back in history here, I don't remember guys such a okay here something like this, but that is a really a straight line. <laughs> It's, it's really difficult to make sense to, to, to make sense of what's happening here. It's really difficult. What we are doing is waiting. We are within this range here, within this uh, white line here that I have proposed would be the, the upper line that if we break this strong resistance here where I mark it, it would be sign it would it would be a sign of a, 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 a breakout above. then we would disregard this e wave here. Because a breakout of E, a breakout of D, sorry, it's possible. So we might, we would have a, a E wave go. I'm sorry. Uh, let me, yes, this this green line, this green movement here would happen here. It's okay. It's possible. So yes, 
according to the Elliott Waves principle, the guidelines is based, if we break out of this D, it's possible and we would have a wave C going up, one, two, three, four, five, a motive impulse or a, an ending diagonal, we don't know yet, but whatever, we, 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 we can go either way. This is annoying, I know, but there, there is no other way of, uh, of, of seeing this, uh, at least the way I, I, am, uh, I'm, I am analyzing it. Okay, we have the support here. And we have this resistance so it's between we are in between i'm sorry let me move this we are in between 6100 6150 6150 6200 and 67 remember this is a a really historical uh resistance here this is the 6850 okay um the weekly chart i i i'm sorry let me the weekly chart we are forming this dodgy this it's a clear dodgy are we gonna are we gonna finish the week and the, the week like this we don't know it's a huge week it's a huge dodgy it's a huge not huge right it's a a bit of a contradictory contradictory when we say that a huge dodgy it's just showing exactly what we we are seeing in lower time frames. It's showing that we uh, let me sh let me put the EMA. We have this this cross here. Um, uh, this is my if you guys fall if you have been following my videos, you know that I have this is my my personal my personal indicator red. This is yellow and this is blue. No, it's way better. 21. This is the 55 EMA. Remember, we had that cross here. Okay. This cross here is a bearish cross. Okay. Don't forget that it's still in play. Okay. We shouldn't disregard this. And moreover, this is kind of tightening in a way that we have never seen before. Okay, it's in the, the volume that we don't we we don't have a lot a lot of support here to the down to the to the downside, but we have this line here where we have the 100 EMA, where I think that we would have the wave the finish of this movement here the e wave if we go to this b way this b here and go to the c this is the weekly chart okay guys again if we close like this dodgy here it would we would sign it perhaps it would go above right it would a change of trend right but what what we what we see here is that we recovered from this break down but we, we tried to break down below this line here that has been a strong support but we recovered and we are now sitting above it so this is this is a bullish sign but then we have this bearish sign here so we have mixed signs how <laughs> it's kind of a, a bummer right uh, how, how should we trade it <laughs> if you Honestly, I, I I won't trade like this. Okay, I prefer to stay out of the. Out, uh, I prefer to stay in the sidelines, waiting for some significant movement. So what we have here, guys, is this. If we are indeed going down to this B here, okay. Um, and we count this as a one, then this would be like a A B C. It would be an ending diagonal here. Because we don't have kind of a, uh, a one, two, three, four, five for a wave one here. Then this would be a wave C going sideways, like here. It's not impossible, okay? A sideways, a sideways, a sideways, sideways, oh, <laughs> sideways movement for a wave two. It's not out of the, it's not out of the table, okay? It can be like a W X Y here. We don't see triangles in wave two. Not, it's like not really likely to have triangles in waves two. So this is a wave one. Let me mark it for you guys. If this is indeed what's happening, one. This is a two. This is a three. This is a four. 
Okay, this is again hypothesis. If we are, we have something like this submicrobe, if this needs to be a wave two, if this is a wave two, this can't be a one two uh, A B C D E, right? A B C uh, W X. This can be indeed an A B, and then we would have a C going above if we measure it let let's use our fibre retracement let me take this out here because this line here is just to mark where i was thinking of it would go so here we have we have our tentative wave one okay one two then let's see where where would be our sweet spot for our wave two so if we have a wave two here, we haven't retraced to this resistance here. We would try to touch again the 50% here. You see, this resistance here and this resistance here, we, need, we would need to, to kind of try to go above again, and then we would go down. So this might be an A, uh, I'm sorry, not this, but the A, then a B, then a C. Simple like that, okay? A, then of course this is a flat a B and a C or perhaps a running flat who knows right who knows what's really going on so we would have another high here okay another local high so but don't get don't get fooled guys if we have a, a high here that doesn't go above this line here I'm, I'm sorry, but that that doesn't go above this line here where we have this B. The, uh, the stop loss would be here, actually. I mark it here, but the stop loss would be if you are, if you are, um, uh, if you are shorting, this would be our stop loss. Okay, then this would be our target for our wave two. If if we if we if you if we are to have a wave C like this, or if we. We might have a running flat so who knows again we don't we just have a polite guess okay uh, let me take this line here as well don't forget guys this is exactly the same count as we have for the daily chart it's the same one but this one is two hours bit stamp okay so here we have the targets. See, minus 33, 60 percent, minus 38, 20 percent. So I would put my three wave here, my fourth wave here. Then we would have broken this line here, this trend line support trend line. We would stop here at this support here, and then we would we would have a reaction to stop start putting in the wave four. Okay, we would have a, a wave like this. something like this of course the the time frame is not correct it would have something like it would take some time for this so who knows right who knows i don't know this is one of possible and likely outcome right of this huge sideways movement it might be just an abc this b here would be our a b c d e okay if we zoom this thing and if we lower the time frame look at this we have a double top here this is our a this is our b it's a clear running flat right it's b going establishing a double bottom here almost <clears throat> so then we would have this a then we would have this b let me put 30 minutes okay oh nasty sideways movement huh then what we would have guys this would be our a clear a huh a b then this would be c running flat d would be forming then we would have a e then we would have a, a formation going up okay uh one two three four five to finish the wave c okay then let, let's form this triangle. Remember, this triangle is not the triangle. Uh, th this is not the... 
the triangle in uh, this is not a wave two triangle but a triangle inside of the abc wave within wave two <laughs> remember fractal huh? this is an abcde inside of this b wave okay um and let's see if it if it if it really can be, if it's possible so B, a would start here so here we would have the bottom line of the triangle okay it's possible okay if you want to you don't need to count the weeks it's better sometimes to not count the weeks i prefer we have some throw-offs here it doesn't matter because this is 30 minutes so then we will have the b here here it's where we would start the triangle and then that's the range okay more or less okay because we start the triangle here then we'll have the b here b might be here as well okay then we'll have the d then we would need to be forming the d but no b is definitely here this is our a this is our b c here complex okay c is often complex d is not really in yet we have here a, a gap that should be filled so again this is an a b c d then we would have a d so this is my my count here then i would have a touch here then it would go down again or perhaps a breakout out of the d so if we count it like this if we, if we are mi micro counting and considering the considering it uh, an a a one wave here then a wave two uh extended side waves of two then we would have an a b c inside of this wave two then we would have an a b c d a triangle inside of this within this wave b here to finish with this C here going up and trying again to get to this 50% and then we would have the sweet spot here for our wave 2 so yes we might have uh, a bullish momentum before we have this this dump this huge dump here that would be our wave 2 I'm sorry our wave 3 our wave 2 would be here and it's characteristic of wave 2 to be like to try to confuse the market to confuse us yeah so we have plenty of i'm sorry again we have plenty of targets here right where we would short where we would start shorting 50 percent is not a bad target then we would have what if you are considering shorting bitcoin this would be the beginning of your, your laddering your shorts right always ladder your entries guys don't enter at once and i'm trying to oops this doesn't work <laughs> then again here then again not oopsie <laughs> what a lame right then again here then then again here something like this okay if you don't see the numbers 6550 6, until 6600 okay and then it it might go above it okay it's uh, remember waves two can go as high as 80 80 70 percent then we would perhaps we would touch the 6700 and then go down but my remember my stop loss is here at the 6750 then I would consider my risk to be too much and I would stop my loss here because of course it would be we would be uh, approaching this 100% here where we start this this count here so this would invalidate our count okay and that's not wise so let me take out this line here so guys basically this is what I'm waiting for I have been waiting for this and that's what we are trying here we are trying to figure out what is gonna happen next and with our stop losses this is my stop loss here 
and this green line here would be the end line here okay perhaps we we won't stop here we don't know okay but this is the 30 minutes chart we see this a b c d e and then we would have another leg up yes okay, going up like this oopsie it would go like this who knows right it's one tentative count one two but really sideways then three going down here and establishing a new low here then four trying again this line here but this time as a resistance then five okay it's exactly like this one here but of course a micro counting what is happening inside of this of this abc here this would be our b and our c okay what is happening here what i'm counting here is this b wave here going down to the c b would be in okay or it might not be in or this might be the whole b you you might argue that b is not in those so if we count this is an a this is a b then we would have a c going above it okay b might not be in guys actually it's one of my alternate counts i need to to study it and propose it on my twitter but for the moment i think that we are okay i think that we are that we might see some kind of bullish momentum here going to this d but we are going to be sideways for for some time until we get to this low here and have some um, some bullish momentum to really break this this line here and go above okay guys uh thanks for watching again as always it's a pleasure to have you guys here watching and supporting the supporting my updates supporting my channel and uh if you haven't joined us in our educational institute uh it's our discord server please the link is in the, is in the in the description it's just it's free it's just a, a really good asset for you guys and if you haven't follow me on twitter please consider doing so i am always keeping you guys updated there again thanks for watching for watching give me a thumbs up and have a wonderful weekend cheers bye bye